An outspoken Lexington pastor who has some strong opinions about the Muslim religion speaks his mind when it comes to the topic of the church in Florida that plans to burn the Koran on the anniversary of 9-11. A leader in the Muslim community here also chimes in on how Muslims should react. Devin Patton has more on this controversial topic. I have uh, a lot of disagreements with uh, Islam and the Koran. This is getting out of hand. The mistrust and the negative views of Islam and, and Muslims. Two religious leaders in Kentucky, one Muslim, the other Christian. Both disagree on what book they base their faith on, but are in agreement when you ask them about the church in Florida planning to burn Qurans on 9-11. When I think of folks burning things, you know, I, I've seen, you know, the Muslim folks in the Iran, Afghanistan burning American flags and that kind of thing. That's just not us. We shouldn't behave that way. And that, that bothers me. This is a sign of crossing a line of um, a hateful act. It is one of those punches that hits you in the gut and really wakes you up. U.S. political and military leaders have said the Quran should not be burned. I asked Pastor Jeff Fugit, what would Jesus do? The Lord Jesus came to spread the gospel of salvation, and that's our job. Professor Isan Bagby told me what he believes the people of the Muslim faith should do. Not to protest, and to in fact fill 9-11, the day itself, with community service and interfaith activities. Covering the news in Lexington, Devin Patton, LAX 18 News. Despite the United States government condemning the act, the Dove Outreach Center in Florida still plans to burn copies of the Koran on September 11th.